That's right, baby. Mwah. Back at our feature table, Vanessa Russo checked the turn. She hit her straight on the river, Ali. And now Ivy is thinking she's weak, firing 8,000, trying to take this pot. All in. Vanessa puts Phil all in. Come on, Vanessa, stop. All right. Stop what? I don't think you had anything there. Ivy folds, Vanessa extends her lead. Without a 10 on the river, that play works for Phil. Wow. Wow. <laughs> we check back in at table number four. Blind still one in 2,000. Ishby has more lives than a cat, Ali, when it comes to his chip count. He's still hanging in there. Hanging around, hanging around. Kid's got alligator blood. Oh. Did we just do that? Pocket queens for Phil. He oh. limps in. Ishbia oh. with king seven. He goes all in. Phil calls. King seven off. Whoops. Two queens for Phil Elmer. The here's only good news for Jeffrey is that he's got an overcard to helm use queens here. Pair of eights on the flop. Ishbia's thinking running clubs or here's a king. Turn. He pairs his seven on the seven. turn, but still trails helm use queens. Clubs are out Here's the window, the but now Jeffrey can hit a seven or a king. Ishbia headed home. Good Phil Helmuth moves oh, on. Well, I'm going to tell you the truth now. Good. Five, six, seven flop. Mm -hmm. I had an eight, nine. I flopped a straight. The, the, the ace, king flop, I limped in with ace, queen. I had aces. We maybe lost a little too much on that hand. Well, when I had the nuts every hand. It was so sick. It, it was uh, amazing. Even even when the 10 deuce 3 flop, I'd pocket aces. It was amazing. And, and that's all it takes. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I know. So, I mean, I, I was lucky. Very good. Nice I think I played you. really well, too. So. You played wonderfully. You're, you're a very good player. Thank you very much. OK. We might be good, seeing good Phil Helmy's 2.0. He's a gentleman. We head back to the feature table. Come on, Vanessa, stop. That's funny. I guess my camera's to ask. I don't think you had anything. I mean, like, if I would have had, like, a 5, I probably would have called you. I'm telling you. Take it, as a, take it as a sign of respect that I cannot give you any information about what I had I just there. don't think you had anything. I'd be happy to tell you after the match. Vanessa with an over 2 to 1 chip advantage. Phil with 5-4. He limps in. Check. Vanessa with 10 tray suited checks. Flop pairs Ivy's 4. Vanessa with a flush draw, and she checks. All in. Phil bets 2,000, and Vanessa puts Phil all in. And he folds again. So Phil Ivey facing a surprising challenge from Lady Maverick. But no more obstacles standing between Scotty Wynn in the round of 16. And with a business-like approach, Phil Helmuth moves on. More action to come from the russo Ivy showdown when we return to the National Heads Up Poker Championship. My pick to win the whole thing. <laughs> My pick to win it. <laughs> That's a good question. Let me think about that. Wow. I don't know who's playing. <laughs> uh, let me look at the list. I cannot pick myself. That's not fair. Well, if I can't pick myself, I guess nobody's going to win it. I'll go out on a limb. I'll pick Chris Ferguson to repeat. Chris Ferguson has no chance. Whoever gets lucky. <laughs> My pick to win this tournament? Pass. If I had to pick one player to win it all, I'd pick Phil Hellman. <laughs> Kenny Tran. <sighs> wow. Scotty Wynn, baby. Daniel Medrano. Eric Lingren. Bertrand Grosspelier. He's on a pretty big roll right now. Andy Block. Warren Green. I'll go with Phil. Phil Ivey. I guess I'm going to go with Phil Ivey. I'll probably pick Phil Ivey. My pick is Phil Ivey. Tough to beat. Phil Ivey. I guess I'll go with Phil Ivey. I hate to say it, but Phil Ivey. <laughs> All right, Ali, who are you picking? It's a toss up, Craig. Realistically, it's either going to be Pass or Lauren Green. Two solid picks Come for on. you. Well, the player consensus, yeah, Phil Ivey, is down four to one in chips. He's got Jack Seven suited. He goes all in, 16,400. Vanessa with Ace Four. This is a tricky spot for her. You don't want to double Phil up and let him right back into the match. Worried she might be dominated. Vanessa will make the lay down and wait for a better spot. While many of Phil Ivey's peers have their eyes on him to win the 2009 Heads Up title, Phil Ivey has eyes on everyone else. Earlier, Ivey alongside Gus Hansen intently scouting the field to see how the tournament is unfolding, perhaps checking in to see how their own brackets are holding up. 
What else are you gonna do once March Madness is over? This is the other bracket during the year. Ivy staring down, waiting for the cards. His queen do suited compliments of the go daddy heads up pocket cam. Vanessa with queen seven suited. She limps in on the button. Blinds have gone up to 1,500 and 3,000, which is not good news for Ivy Stack. He's got less than seven big blinds. After Ivy checks, Vanessa pairs her seven on the flop. Ivy pairs his deuce and bets 3,000. Vanessa puts Phil all in. Phil lays it down. Phil lays it down again. Every little bet like that is a big hurt to Phil Stack. Let's send it down to Leanne. All right, Phil, two down, four to go. Do you think you can win this thing again? I mean, you know, that's not what you think about. You just think about the next match. I know that I drew Durr, which the world, <laughs> the world wanted us to play right. again. I mean, are you looking for redemption? I mean, redemption? I mean, I, there's nothing I could have done last year. I mean, I, I think that I got all my money in, in the best possible position. And, uh, and I think Durr is an amazingly talented player. Um, and he's proven it over the, the last few years. But, uh, and because of that, I think he'll use a little more creativity in the match. Should be a good match. All right. Well, good luck against Tom. Thanks a lot. A kinder, gentler Phil Helmuth. I don't like it. Phil Ivey with ace-10. He goes all in. Oh. He Vanessa shipping. calls Vanessa with call. ace-deuce. Phil's feeling like for once he's got Eight. the best of it. And a heart. Over a five-to-one chip lead for Vanessa. Been a rough day for Ivy so far. He could really use a double up. Inside straight draw for Phil on the flop. His ace 10 is still good. Six of spades on the turn. All Ivy needs to do is dodge a deuce here. A three or six would chop the pot. Exclamation point. Ivy pairs his 10 on the river and doubles up. Still an uphill climb, though. Hi, nice Sam. As Ivy attempts to fight his way back into the match against Russo, we move over to an all-in and call between Gabe Kaplan and John Juanda. Juanda's king eight holding the lead against Kaplan's nine four off suit. Not a premium holding, but a short stack Gabe didn't have much choice. Juanda pairs his king on the flop. Now you need like a jack of 10. Jack 10. The old three percenter for Gabe. Deuce on the turn means Kaplan's drawing dead. John Juana making it in the round of 16. As Gabe tips his hat to say goodbye, Ali, it only seems appropriate to play his old theme song as he heads for home. This was the dustiest A-track in the archive vault. Welcome back to Caesars Palace. A lot of big names making it on to the round of 16 today. Daniel Negreanu got by Italian Dario Mignetti. Bertrand Grospelier defeated online star Ilari Sahamias. Tom Durdwan outlasted Barry Greenstein. 2007 Heads Up champ Paul Wasica beat Hollywood actor Don Cheadle. Scotty Wynn defeated 2006 Heads Up champ Ted Forrest. Phil Helmuth set up a rematch with Tom Dwan, beating Jeff Ishbia. And John Juwanda got past Gabe Kaplan. Let's go back to the last match of the day. Lines at 1,500 and 3,000. Russo with an over two to one chip advantage in the poker room looking empty with only one table left, Ollie. Our final mm. pairing in the round of 32. Ivy with pocket eights. Waller. He goes all in. Oh, oh Vanessa with pocket calls. tens. She calls. And this has pretty much been the story of the day for Phil Ivey. He cannot catch a break in this match. And now he's in terrible shape. Here's the flop. Couple of hearts. This is an upset in the making, Ali. Yeah, it's looking like this is going to draw the curtain on a pretty tough outing for Phil Ivey. The 10 up there. He needs an eight. Ace, Ace on the turn means Ivy's down to the river with only two outs in the deck. The pre-tournament player's favorite is fishing for a snowman to stay alive. 
And it's Jack. Bill Ivey is out. Vanessa Russo rounds out our Sweet 16. Not to take anything away from Vanessa, but most people would regard this as an upset. Not one of them, however, her fiance, Chad Brown. Oh, man. Ooh. I told you I had the jitters the whole time. It was like so awful. So the round of 32 now concluded. Eight competitors from this half of the bracket advancing to the round of 16, including Daniel Negreanu in a much anticipated rematch of last year's first round battle between Phil Hellmuth and Tom Dwan.